content and community related. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video if you do like it in the end and uh, ring the bell if you want future updates from something that I've reviewed. Uh, so today I have a lot to go through and I've decided I'm going to break it up into a couple different videos, otherwise it's just going to be way too long. But all of my stuff that I am going to be reviewing is here, including these guys. So uh, I have some bumper plates. I'm going to include all of the descriptions and prices uh, of what I paid because right now we are in Ottawa, Ontario in a lockdown still. We're June 12th. So more and more I'm seeing people are investing in their home gyms, myself included. I'm a personal trainer as well, and I'm now getting requests to train people at their home. So I've now become also a mobile service. I think this is going to be the new future. I don't think uh, gyms will be the same way that they've ever been before. Um, so that said, it is a little bit more expensive, a lot more expensive actually than what we used to pay. It used to be about a dollar a pound per for dumbbells or for weights. Now you're looking more at two to three dollars per pound. That said, in the long run, you have a home gym, right? Somewhere where you don't have to leave. So I have a fully stocked gym now, but what I've got here that I'm gonna be reviewing um, in segments is I have some bumper plates. Uh, I ordered it from a company online. It arrived in one day. So I'm gonna give a good review on that. Uh, I ordered these, uh, which is a standard barbell to Olympic size barbell adjuster so that my Olympic size uh, bumper plates fit on because my standard barbell is just too thin. So I'm gonna review that. I have some bands here that I'm gonna be reviewing. So again, this is gonna be in a segment of probably I'm gonna do one thing at a time. So just keep an eye for the other posts and I'll post what it is, I'll post where I got it, all of that. Um, I have some bands, I have some clamps, I have, this is going to be so cool, I can't wait, I haven't opened it yet, but it is an adjuster for a barbell, but turning something into a kettlebell. Super cool, game changer, can't wait, and of course, all of my bumper plates. put on the adjustments to the standard size barbell. So this barbell is about 15 pounds, very light, but at the ends, it's very thin. It's about a one inch diameter like that all the way around. So when you're using Olympic size plates on here, it can slide up and down, right? So you need the bigger um, clamps as well. So I didn't know this existed. I thought this is such a good idea because see the opening for an Olympic size plate is that thick versus, for example, this. So if I was to put this on here, it slides through. Do you see that? So that's the standard size. So just these plates just wouldn't work. They're just too big. So this thing is so handy. This pair of adapters, really simple. There is just a little opening here. It slides right over the barbell itself. You tighten it with an Allen key and boom, you've got an Olympic size end on a standard bar. Very important though, I also bought these, which are the clamps because you don't wanna put the weight on here and it slide off. So their suggestion to me was to buy two packs of the Inspire Olympic Bar Clamps. So nice and big, because again, the clamps that I have for the standard bar are like that, right? For an Olympic bar, they're this size. So much bigger. This little clamp wouldn't do anything. So they suggest two clamps per side. So the opposite. I'm gonna put one clamp there so it's good to go tight so that when I put this on, it's there. And then I'm gonna put this on the end as you normally would. 
and that's not going anywhere. So it's a double clip on each side. So to be honest, I didn't even know this thing existed, but it's an amazing remedy. Uh, if you don't have the size in your gym to use an Olympic barbell, um, and, because generally the Olympic size barbells are in length about six feet or seven feet. So my standard bar is probably about five feet. And I don't have a huge space in my gym. So that's why this is actually perfect. We bought a ton of these bumper plates, which I'm also going to review. I'm very happy with, but for now, this just solved a lot of problems by just getting that and saved me a lot of money because again, an Olympic barbell right now is really expensive. So uh, there you go. And again, so just look below and I'm going to link um, the, uh, the name of what that is and where I got it. And if you're interested, definitely do the same. Uh, I definitely say it's worth it. If, um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want future updates, please ring the bell. And I hope you have a great day and I hope you're getting stronger every day.